What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Port Protection. Another episode of Skookum Living. So today, winter is coming so we need to build a woodshed for all that wood. And there's a bunch more wood down there that still needs to be bucked and split. So, we found our spot. I've put four rocks down, one in each corner. And I'm gonna put the posts up off of that. Build a little timber frame across the top. A couple of boards going back. And then we'll uh, slap some metal on top of that. So first step is we need to go bring the saw into the woods and get four posts. And maybe I might use one of these beams out here. We might cut it up, we'll see what happens. I don't know, we're winging it, so let's just get into it. So I gotta measure the back post. I think I want it about six feet tall. So I just measured this out. It's about six and a half. So I got some wiggle room. So I'm gonna pull this bad boy. Okay. Lash this one in place. This is going to be a temporary one, or not temporary, but temporary supports just to hold it upright until the rest of it can get all attached. So as you can see, these trees are round and I want them to attach better than just two round things. So I'm giving them a little notch. Could spend way more time doing this, but it's a woodshed. So we're just giving it the quick and dirty. And this part's not gonna be seen, it's in the back. So. Quick and dirty it up. So I got this upper beam in place now. Now it's time to get the prettier beams. I got this one and there's one more around the corner. Those are gonna sit on that rock and that rock. And then I'm going to make a, a bigger beam to go across the front because that's going to be what you actually see. So this is going to be a real tall, big woodshed. It's going to be dope. So first I got to cut the end off of that, stand it up, and then uh, find out how big the beam wants to be.
All right, we got our two front posts in. We got some Xing to hold it all up. It's also going down to the back back there. And I put this temporary board across because I'm going to climb up there and cut that one level with that one. And uh, so I don't need to, I didn't need to measure that to know how tall I wanted. I'm just going to put a level bar from there across, whack the top off, put my big old header beam up there. And then we'll start putting in the real braces all the way around to make sure this thing scook them. Yeah. Lovely level. All right, now we got the post set up. We got to get the beam that goes across the top. So I got the chainsaw mill back out. We're gonna go and got a beautiful piece of red cedar over here. So we're gonna mill that on three sides, and that way it'll give it a little, uh, <clears throat> you know, beach vibe underneath. But this is the log we're gonna be cutting. So let's just get it all. Let's get it cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the uh, the driftwood side on the bottom. I'm gonna put the big end of the cut beam looking out because it's just such pretty grains. Um, so right here I have this marked that I'm gonna cut out and that's gonna sit up on top of that hole. And then I got another one right here marked. So I'm gonna cut both of these out to go on top of the holes. So first, fire it up.
We got the knee braces in on the front. We got the X supports going on on both sides and a little extra in the back. So now it's time to put a roof on. So we're gonna lay some rafters down. We're doing quick and dirty style today, just rafters, no purlins. But we got a whole heap of a uh, little skinny spruce and hemlock in the back. In the back 40 that needed to get cut down. So we're gonna go and slap those up. We're gonna go every foot instead of every two feet. That way I won't need purlins and I can just lay the metal on like that. I know, I know, it's not the proper way to do it, but we're doing a one day woodshed build. So, cut a little corners. They don't really get that much snow here, just rain. So, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. All right, final step, gotta put metal on the roof. So we just went to the back bay, salvaged a few sheets. So I'm just gonna chuck that up there and see if I can screw it down. I salvaged a few screws, so should be enough for at least a little while. We got a woodshed. It ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll hold some lumber. Woodshed accomplished. We started putting a little wood in it, but not bad. Turned out all right, I think. I think we're gonna put a little couple extra boards down that way just to keep protect from wind. Well, that's it for me and Port Protection. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Yeah.